Right now, closing arguments are underway in an arson trial in Fort Collins. 30-year-old Benjamin David Gilmore is accused of starting a fire that ripped through the Penny Flats last October. 7 News reporter Tyler Lopez just stepped out of the courtroom. And Tyler, the prosecution just wrapped up. Just wrapped up the first part of it. It did start late, though. We spent a lot of time, as we did last week, watching this trial slow down here at the Lamar County Courthouse. The closings were supposed to start at 8.30, but really got underway about five minutes to 10, with the DA spending a lot of time on jury instructions and what constitutes reasonable doubt. But there's no doubt in the amount of damage this fire did. Just remarkable. If you remember the video at all, it was October 24, 2011, when the Penny Flats blaze ripped through Old Town Fort Collins, destroying condos, apartment buildings, and uh, residential businesses as well. Deputy DA telling the jury today this was a monstrous wall of fire. He told the jury the defendant was knowingly setting a 20,000 foot bonfire with residents sleeping only 32 feet away. He concentrated on a $4,000 watch owned by the defendant found at the fire scene and also talked a lot about the fact that he kept wearing black leather gloves as if to hide injuries for days after the fire. Now the defense has answered those questions saying that Gilmore hurt his hands in a fire incident before this blaze broke out. The defense is up now. They've got an hour and 15 minutes. Then the DA will get one last party shot in. Legal observers with the DA's office believe the jury will have this case before the lunch hour. Ben Gilmore facing seven criminal counts, including first degree murder and arson. First degree attempted murder, I should say, and arson. Live in Fort Collins, Tyler Lopez, 7 News. We appreciate the update. Thanks, Tyler.